Welcome back to another episode of Revamped Outdoors. My name is doesn't matter because you can't hear anything. Welcome back to another episode of Revamped Outdoors. My name's Elliot, and today I'm out in this garage painting some jigs. And uh, if you are on the fishing scene on YouTube, you probably know about a creator named Jay Siemens. Awesome creator. He runs Thrive Visuals. King of fishing B-roll. Hands down. Best B-roll you'll ever see in a fishing video. So, sorry like all them John B. and the Guggen Squad guys. Uh, he's got you beat. But anyway, I was watching one of his videos the other day about uh, it's an air bubbler for powder paint. And I decided, you know, why not? I, I got my own jigs. I need to powder paint them. So, let's give it a whirl. So, I ordered it off of eBay. I'll leave the link down below. Uh, not affiliated or sponsored or anything. But there's a guy down in Illinois that's making them. And I figured he could ship me one that I know works for under $30. So it'd be 15 bucks in parts and then my time to make it. So I figured why not. So also they use an aquarium pump. Uh, if you know anything about these. And I don't have an aquarium pump. So I spent the last hour trying to make my airbrush compressor push it. So I'll show you. I'll bring you in. This is the setup. Real simple. PVC. Okay. It's a little messy right now. I'm still dialing it in. You know how that goes. But... PVC coupler, it's glued here on the bottom. This is probably like a, a two inch PVC coupler to an inch and a half tube. And then he had made this nice little valve here. So down and up, uh, well, more air, less air. I have this kind of cheapo air compressor for a, an airbrush. So I'm using that right now. Have it down its lowest setting. The tube itself for the airbrush does not fit on the end of this. All right, so I had to do some working around. I got all my airbrush kits out from everywhere, tried every fitting, ended up finding this fitting somewhere in one of those, and then disconnected the tube that he gave me. This is just an aquarium hose tubing that he gave me in the kit. Uh, he also gives some spare filters too, which is pretty nice. So basically what we have here is, is a tube. Let's see. If I can show you down in there, you can see it's just a paper mat in the bottom there. Now I got a green thumb. Yikes. It's all right. Non-toxic, they say. And I don't really believe them, but non-toxic, they say. Anyway, there's a paper filter down there. So the air comes in through here into a chamber. It pushes up here, and then it kind of uh, emulsifies that liquid. So it goes like this. Have you ever seen a Mark Rober video? about uh, they did this on a large scale in a jacuzzi. They put a bunch of sand in it and then aerated the sand so it became essentially quicksand. So I will link that video down below as well and uh, you can check that out if you want to. It goes in depth about the process but when I saw this on Jay's video I was like, whoa, super cool idea. Never would have uh, thought about it myself and as you can see, a little messy here, I'm still dialing stuff in. so. Uh, not quite sure how to do it that well yet. Thinking that the main issue is that this compressor puts out a lot of power. So I think maybe it's just an aquarium, like too much power issue. So even though you can fine tune it here and with the regulator here, I think it's still a little too much power. So I'm going to probably try and go pick up an aquarium pump. I got to do groceries anyway. So, you know, I'll, I'll do the whole mask up thing and go to the store and grab one. I'm thinking. All right, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do like two or three jigs with uh, the airbrush compressor. I'll do two or three with that one, and then I'll mask up too, because they say it's not toxic. I'm out in the garage. There's quite a bit of ventilation here, but, you know, I'd just rather, I'm just running a P100 filter on a 3M. Uh, makes me feel better because there's a bunch of dust going everywhere, especially because I haven't dialed it in yet. You know, safety is my first concern, so, I mean, it should be yours too. If it's not, um, you know, just make sure you put me in your will. I'll take your boat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can't. I'll try and bring you along on this. I'm doing this one hand, it might be a little tough. I got the, uh, the heat gun on. I'm going to bring it up here. And I'm going to heat it to a bunch. So these are my custom 5 16 swim bait jigs. These are made with a silicone mold from a 3D printed master. 
Uh, you can check it out if you want to, whatever. There's videos on how I do it. I haven't done this one yet. This is kind of my... been in the works for a while here, but... So I'm going to let that heat up for a second or two. And I'm going to, while I do that, I'll put you down here. The back side is like that. There we go, there we go. I'll put it in there and I'll swirl it around. I'll turn it off. Woo! There we go. Look at that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like a champ. So I think this method, you know what? I'm going to take the mask off because I can't even hear myself. All right. Well, I'm pretty excited about this method. Uh, so that was the first, that was like my fifth try, I think. Fourth try? Fifth try with the bubbler on. Uh, and the real key I found so far is that you got to get really hot. So if the lead is smaller in one portion of the jig, make sure you heat that portion up pretty hot because it'll cool down quicker and then it won't stick as well. But comparatively to like the dipping method, it works astonishingly well. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring you down here again. I'll do a dip method only, so no bubbler. And I'll show you kind of where it misses a lot of the, like if you don't get the jig in there at the right spot, you miss it and then you can't recode it. So that's why I'm excited about this. I'll do that really quick. Then I'll run get an aquarium pump and then uh, I'll show you, hopefully, with me dialing it in all the way. All right, so now I'm gonna to attempt to show you how I do it with just dipping one side and then the other. So I'm gonna use this same color. I'm gonna try and get it like that. I'm gonna dip in one side, then the other. And that's how I've been doing it for a while. So I'll set you up here and I'll show you. This is, this one is horrible. I really, I really did a number on this one, I tell you what. I, I might have to cut that one out of the video, that's horrible. So, although it is better than my last couple dips, you can tell that it's not even. You know, it's all lopsided. So that's been my experience with, with dipping like that. I, it's very hard for me to get that perfect. Hey boys and girls, fans of the channel. You know what I just thought of? I even have a video on this channel about using a USB powered pump, aquarium pump. Look at that. Guess who doesn't have to go to Walmart? This guy. Guess who's super happy about it? This guy. All right, so now we got it hooked up straight up to the wall. You can see it over there, straight up to the wall. It is right now thunder snowing, by the way, in Wisconsin. So just be happy wherever you are. It's not here. And this, I think, is more about what we want. See, look at, isn't that trippy? Look at that. I wonder if I can get. It. Like liquid. So we'll give this a go and we'll see what happens. Oh snap. That worked pretty darn well. Not gonna lie. I'll really I'll really put the heat on her this time, you know? Maybe I'll even go to see. I'll put the heat on her. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, much better. Oh yeah, I think that's the ticket. It's even smoking now. I got that little too hot. There we go. Look at that. This is this is just this is just blowing my mind, boys and girls. This is crazy. So good. Just ex it's exciting when you do something for a long time and then you find a new method. It's just exciting. So now that I know this is working pretty well, 
so I'll show you in here too. That's pretty much more what you want. You don't want it spitting out of the top there. Real quick high heat. Oh man. Oh, it just, it just works so much better. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at, look at it. Just look at it. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So I, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but oh, let's recap, let's recap. All right, so here is the fruit of our labors this afternoon. These are hand dipped left and right, and you can see I, I run into problems because I get a lot of paint on there, and then I try and scrape it off with the my little scraper here, and then you try and even it out on the heat gun again, and it just never quite gets there. And then a lot of the time it'll cool before you can actually get all the powder paint on it. So a lot of the times this is my issue with the dipping on either side, this unevenness you always get. And uh, I'm just not a big fan of that. So here are ones that were in the bubbler. And I just, I can't stress this enough about how good this is. Just insane. So this has really kind of rejuvenated me a little bit. So pretty happy about that. Also, with the unit, uh, whoever made this on the flea bay there gave me these little caps too so I can leave my powder. This has uh, June bug in it right now. That, that one is June bug. Uh, that's this one here. It has a lot of different flake in it. It's kind of cool. A little thunder snow out there. Let's see if I can't get you in there. It's got flake. It's a nice purple. Really like that color. And then this one is a chartreuse, just a regular chartreuse. So nothing too fancy there. Um, but yeah, so yeah, let's recap this uh, little video. All right, so I really like this method. I think it's super cool. Uh, a couple things. I need an aquarium pump. That was obvious, right? It got way better with the aquarium pump. So yeah, needed that. The other thing is, is that uh, with the, using the bubbler, it's going to be like a one color type thing. You want one color on something, this is the way to do it. It's going to evenly distribute that. It's not like you can do one side, one color, one side, the other, because it's just going to have an even distribution in the cup. That's kind of an issue also. It's like accenting colors and stuff. You're not going to have be able to do that. Um, but you would be able to kind of like paint it afterwards and maybe do a clear coat with this stuff too. Uh, I do have a clear in this. So what you could do is like paint jigs and do a clear in this. Be way easier to do than uh, doing it in uh, dipping one side or the other. Larger jigs, hands down. You got to do this. Uh, just trying to dip it in the powder, it's a huge pain. So I really like this. This is a quick video. I thought, hey, I'd try this out and see if it was fun. So big thanks to Jay Siemens. Uh, great great video uh helped me just get a lot better at this so really appreciate that and then uh also if you like the video maybe like comment subscribe got a lot more projects coming up in the works and uh yeah so till the next one keep your amps up and your filament dry